I help with the daily fantasy content here at Campus to Canton. Uh, and today I'm going to walk through uh, the prize picks lines that I am looking to play this week. So I'm going to give you a rundown of the five that I like the most. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the uh, Campus to Canton Discord. Uh, I am always down to talk some shop. So I'll jump right into it. Uh, so the first uh, pick that I have lined up for us this week is Michael Penix Jr. throwing for more than three and a half passing touchdowns this week. So Washington plays Arizona State. <clears throat> it's a matchup that uh, should be favorable for the Huskies and for Michael Penix Jr. Um, we saw him excel uh, very, very much last week uh, against Oregon. And, uh, you know, I think this is uh, just going to be a step in the, the right direction uh, as he continues on for a Heisman campaign. Um, after seeing the way Caleb Williams struggled against Notre Dame, uh, really opened the door, I think, for Michael Penix to um, have a chance at uh, getting some significant hardware at the end of the year. So I think Kalen DeBoer is going to uh, honor that, respect that. Um, and against Arizona State, there is no reason why Penix shouldn't be throwing for, you know, three, four or five touchdowns um, in this one. They uh, are big favorites. Uh, you do kind of worry a little bit that the points may come, you know, either with defensive touchdowns or special teams touchdowns or rushing touchdowns. Um, so I do uh, kind of wish that this was a total touchdowns prop and not a passing touchdowns prop, but we'll take what we can get. Michael Penix Jr., three and a half passing touchdowns. I'm going with more this week. The next one that I have lined up, Katron Allen, more than 46.5 rushing yards this week. So um, against, uh, I believe it was uh, Northwestern, Katron Allen went down with an injury. Um, he had a bye week to get back uh, to full health. Uh, last week they had UMass in the cold and rainy weather. Um, not one where you really mess around with injuries. So the fact that he played against UMass, even though it was limited snaps, suggests to me that the coaching staff is confident that he is as near full health as you can be uh, this far into the season. Um, and so that being said, um, you know, this 46 and a half yard uh, prop is a little light. Um, Katron is uh, putting up, you know, um, more than this line in every game that he has started and finished on his own accord. So any game where he did not leave with an injury, he has, he has uh, um, cleared this threshold with, with ease. Uh, now, this is the mo most difficult defense that they've faced all year, um, but that doesn't really make me want to shy away from this. I think that um, for Penn State to compete in this game, they need all systems clicking. They need to be balanced. I think Katron um, is the best opportunity to develop the run game um, as he's more of the power back in this uh, split with him and Nicholas Singleton. So um, I am all aboard the Katron Allen train this week, more than 46 and a half rushing yards. Um, I, honestly, this is one of my favorite lines of the week. So I, I have no hesitation playing that. Next one here, we have Jason McClellan, and we are going less than 67 and a half rushing yards for Jason McClellan. Um, McClellan's just struggled all season long. It feels like, um, he did have strong showings, uh, against Arkansas. Uh, I believe that was last week. Um, and you know, he, he showed that he was able to, um, you know, put the team on his back a little bit, but he still doesn't have, in, in my opinion, that difference maker. We need to get him the ball every chance we can roll. Um, and that's that's honestly quite surprising to me at this point in the season. I would have expected by this point that he uh, would have that. But alas, here we are. Um, his season average so far, 13 and a half carries per game, and he's only uh, getting four and a half yards per carry. Um, if all things are equal and he, again, just gets his average carries for his average yards per carry, he does not clear this threshold. So... Um, I think Tennessee's defense is uh, competent enough to prevent big plays from him. Um, and I don't think Bama is going to overly force the issue with running the football with McClellan. Um, so I'm going less than 67 and a half rushing yards here. Uh, the fourth uh, line that we've got here is Dylan Gabriel. I'm going more than two and a half passing touchdowns. 
Uh, this is very similar to the uh, Michael Penix Jr. Um, explanation that I gave. You know, if this was a total touchdown uh, line, even if it was three and a half, I would I would be all over that because Gabriel does have the ability to run for some touchdowns. Um, but man, it just seems like a slam dunk spot. I am a uh, a sucker for a good revenge game narrative. So Gabriel playing his old team UCF in Norman this week. Um, it really just sets up for a great opportunity for him to explode. I think. Um, Gabriel is a dark horse Heisman candidate, um, maybe less dark horse than he was before the Red River rivalry. Um, but I think that they're just going to really lean on him. Um, Andrew Anthony is out for this game. He's out for the rest of the season. Um, but his uh, replacements uh, with Nick Anderson, Jaleel Farouk has been coming along great. Drake Stoops has been a, a nice, uh, consistent option for Gabriel. Um, this feels like a, uh, a smash as well. So if, if I were just doing a two pick card, uh, the Gabriel line and the Catron Allen line would be my two favorites. So, um, those are, are definitely ones that I have some pretty strong confidence in this week. Uh, the last play that I'm going to talk about here is Keandre Lambert Smith, uh, more than four and a half receptions. And I know I'm a Penn State guy. <laughs> Having two Penn State plays on here, it, it might be a little excessive, but I really think that um, there's some underestimation going on with this Penn State team against Ohio State. Um, and I, th- I just think in general, the play call is going to open up a little bit more. I don't think they've really had to pull many tricks out of their bags um, to beat the teams that they've beaten so far. Um, and you know, that might be a, um, that might not be such a great thing because you don't have anything to compare it to and you, you don't know how they're going to stack up against the better competition. Um, but I, I really just think that this game is so paramount for, for the Nittany Lion program. You've got Ohio state in a little bit of a down year. Um, you finally got the quarterback in place with Drew Aller. I, I, I feel pretty good about, about where they stand for this one. Um, Keandre Lambert Smith has solidified himself as the wide receiver one um, in this offense. Um, he has benefited, I think, um, as far as his target share uh, is. He's just under eight targets per game. Um, but he's benefited w- from targets that have a lower A dot. So Drew Aller has a very low A dot so far this year, and it suggests that those eight targets are more catchable than a, a, a pass that's deep downfield. Um, so having Keandre Lambert Smith hit hit on four and a half receptions going over that, um, I really have a lot of faith in as well. Um, you know, keep an eye on uh, on weather. Um, you know, playing in late October in the Northeast and the Midwest is always a little bit of a gamble. Um, so keep an eye on that, but I, I really do feel confident um, that Penn State uh, is able to, to move the ball and, and have some success. And I think Keandre Lambert Smith just needs this offense to be moderately successful to be able to capitalize on that pick. So that's where I'm at. Those are my uh, my five picks this week. Just to uh, uh, recap, I am showing Michael Penix Jr. more than three and a half passing touchdowns, Katron Allen more than 46 and a half rushing yards. Jace McClellan, less than 67 and a half rushing yards. Dylan Gabriel, more than two and a half passing touchdowns. And Keandre Lambert Smith, more than four and a half receptions. Um, so there you have it. I hope that everybody has a great week eight. Um, enjoy some football this week, guys. And uh, uh, just make sure to uh, to be responsible here on those, those picks. So have a great weekend. <laughs>